What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Too Many Opinions Podcast. This is Jeannie. And this is Sarah. I just want you to know that after the, the Patreon, I, lo- I lose it. Because my, my brain is only capacity for two videos. And the second Patreon, I mean, the Patreon, the first Patreon is taking all of me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, I think we're going to have to figure something out. <laughs> we're going to have to figure something out. Yo, because by the time, and I feel like I'm doing four fucking, okay. So, yeah. So, Sarah. What? <laughs> Before we get into that, everybody go subscribe to our Patreon oh, yeah. page. You can call us, leave us a message, a text message. Uh, 401-648-6929. Yes, 648-6929. Yes. All right. So there you wow. can reach us, ask for advice, leave us a voice note, a voice message. We're going to hear it out. We're, you're going to get our honest feedback honest responses if you just need someone to talk to you're not you feel like you can't trust your friends we're your <laughs> friends now and this is where, <laughs> this is where we're at okay also um we're only going to be taking responses guys we only answer twice a week twice a week so it's a week so if you're sending twice us- a month Twice, oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> we only answer twice a twice month. Twice a month, guys. We only answer twice a month. Um, So if you are expecting an answer ASAP, we we, we can't give it to you. Yeah. I was going to say, hit us up with the emergency, but we honestly, we can't. Um, So yeah, twice a month. Twice a month. Get all your responses in Monday at midnight, and then we go in chrono- chronological order in the date in which they were received. Yes. Okay. Okay. So Sarah, <laughs> do you have anything to update us on? Updates. Um, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. No, okay? I, I just okay. If we're if you're a production team, please holler at us. We do have an intern that's trying to like. We'll talk about that later. Okay. Yeah. But if girl, yeah, we're gonna hit you up, girl. It's just yeah. taking us a little. Yeah. All right. We're getting into the thick of it. Well, anyways, today I want to talk about the yeah. orange peel theory. I'm assuming you've probably seen it on TikTok. I've seen it a bit. Okay. So first, I want to play this clip that I saw where I was completely baffled by this poor girl who was testing the orange peel theory on her boyfriend. And if you don't know what that is, I'm going to give you a snapshot of what it is. It's basically when you ask you ask your boyfriend without asking to do you an act of service that you could easily do yourself, but they will either do it for you willingly and with love and intention and purpose to try to make your life easier or the complete opposite and the first one i want to show you is um the complete opposite of what someone would do when you are quote unquote testing them and this poor creator gave her boyfriend an orange and asked him to peel it and this is a little fast forward but Dude, this is I it. Ask you to do all the I time. do everything. I just did your fucking laundry. No. And you can't peel this for me? Dude, come on, man. Seriously? No. Pause it. He sounds like a, one of those guys that just plays video games all day. A hundred percent. He's a gamer. Like, no, I got to go back to Call of Duty. Yeah. Fortnite's calling me. He's he's giving game, gamer boy, game boy. He's giving mama's Nintendo boy. 64. He's giving entitled. He's giving, I want you to treat me like you're my mommy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Figure your life out, dude. It's not all about what your man can do for you. It's about what you can do for yourself, right? No, but like... A good boyfriend would peel this for me. Or, like, do something for me that I'm perfectly capable of. Obviously, I can peel this. But, like, if you were... a great boyfriend would tell you to do it yourself. I'm not a good boyfriend. So then why didn't you do your own laundry then? Right? Why don't you cook yourself then? And it's the tone that he's speaking to her. Like, what she's asking is for a kidney. A kidney, okay? Like, what is being asked is literally for him to peel the, peel the orange. And I just want to put this girl in the camera really quick because she is so pretty. Shelby, you're beautiful, and you deserve better than what you're getting right now, okay? He sounds like he's, like, fat, too. Like, okay, like, like, you deserve so much better. Shelby, we're, this oh, is Oh, Shelby, you. can you show us a picture of him? Please, put us on. Okay, let's continue. I'm a great one. I'm trying to make you strong and independent and build you up as a female. Well, that's the point. That's I can do it. Problem. I can do it myself. But like the point is that you would do it for me yeah, as but, like an act of service. Then, but, then you, but then you wake up and you realize, you know, that you can actually just do it yourself. Bozo. And like you're not even that special. That's the Beak. You're not even that special. Shelby, you're so special, and your boyfriend is a lame and a bozo. A bozo. You're not even that special, quote. 
you're not even and then but i'm special to clean your laundry do your laundry she probably does a whole bunch of other stuff that she's not even saying because she definitely starts to defend herself and what he did here i think he told her again that you're not special and it's just he's gaslighting her a hundred percent and it's just so sad that we get into relationships as women where we only see the person for love and this is what's going this has to be what's going on here oh my that God. she is blinded by love and that's why people say love is blind because one i i don't know did she watch this video back she clearly knows something's wrong if she posted it right sure. like because sis, you deserve so much better than not that. only love, but people are, are very used to routines and, and used to people, and they think they love them, right? But because you're used to it, doesn't you mean stay. it's right. Change change is not always a bad thing. It's actually sometimes amazing and beautiful, and can help you grow and empower. And I just played your clip specifically because it broke my heart to see a beautiful woman who deserves the world just like you and I, just like the rest of the women, be spoken to in a manner as if she's asking for too much. You Give are me not. an orange, bro. Wow. An I will make that. First of all, I wouldn't even be in that situation. Um, but if I was in that situation, bro, I'm not doing nothing for you. I'm cooking for myself. I'm packing my own meals. I'm doing my own laundry. I'm clean. If I if I dirty this half of the table, I'm only cleaning this half of the table. Like it's that's a that's literally that's what, what he, a roommate. That's a roommate, and she's must be a maid service because there's no way in this right world or mind of mine that I would stay with somebody who spoke to me like that. I, I'm I'm perfectly yo. I'm I'm building you up so you'd be perfectly capable to do it yourself. So why don't you do your own shit? Why don't you do your own laundry? But there was a point, too, where he was like, and there was another creator who stitched this, and she emphasized this one part where she was like, yeah, he said a woman or a female, and he, like, emphasized the male part of it. And it's like, that is a man. She basically goes on to say that that is a man who does not want to be in a leadership role of a relationship. Yeah. And it's just so sad that so many of us have gone through this and have experienced this. And this is why I want to bring light to it, because... It is so easy and so simple to find someone who will love you and cater to you and do the smallest things for mm -hmm. you. Those acts of service are so easy. If my man asked me to peel an orange, I would fucking peel the orange without even thought. Or if he just asked me for an orange, I would just hand it to him already peeled without a thought because I want to make your life easier. I want to make your life better. Well, I'm a, I'm not always going to peel it. If you want an orange, if I'm busy, I, I won't. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you tell me, oh, can you peel it real quick for me? Oh, yeah, no problem. It's not that it's right. not that big of a deal. Right. So now that was like the latter. Now I want to go into this good one. And now this is the creator, Kyle and Jade. We love you guys. Beautiful. But listen to this. Listen to the difference. Let me start it over. I'm kind of hungry. Green flag. I just actually just bought those steaks yesterday. I could do some steaks and potatoes, a little broccoli and cheese. <laughs> And my girl's cheesing in that video. Jeez. I'd be, I'd be cheesing too. too. My man just, I said, I'm feeling a little hungry. He said, "You, oh, I got those steaks I bought. Steak, mashed potatoes, a little broccoli and cheese. Not the broccoli and cheese. See, my boyfriend, he he's not the cooker, but he'll be like, what do you want me to go get, get you? you? Right. But it's a thought, right? Okay, so let's continue. Uh, lighter? Yeah. Uh, what about Chick-fil-A? 12-pound nugget, medium fry. <laughs> that cookies and cream milkshake with two chairs. Not the cookies and cream milkshake with the two cherries. You know what that says? I pay attention, attention. To, my, to my woman. I want to make my woman happy. Mm -hmm. And it takes me zero effort to remember what makes her happy. And look at the smile. I wish I could like zoom in. This woman is so happy. This is what we need. This is what we need. So let's just go finish. Sound good, but no, nah, I kind of just want a little snack for real. A snack? Like what? Just pass me that orange over there. Okay. Coming right up. How you want it? Freshly squeezed? You want it sliced in half? Or you want a bunch of mini oranges running around? <laughs> Let, be, before we continue, though, do you think that this is him all the time? Because it almost sounds... its its He's so good that it sounds like a skit. It literally... <laughs> The way that, that this girl is glowing in let this me, video. And that, what I just said, is sad. The fact that to me, it's hard for my brain to, to, to even though, okay, my boyfriend does, he, I, I told him earlier that I've never heard him as, as much up and downs as we've been through. I've never heard him one time complain about anything I've asked him to do. Not one time. That's the best. But 
men like him really exist and that can they very do. much be real but it's very sad that my brain automatically goes to it's probably a skit and it, and this because is it's enough. rare because it's, it's rare it's rare to us right and i think this is a very important thing that i want to highlight here is i've seen another clip of a woman who is getting treated just like this it was their first date he was opening the door giving her flowers like like doing the most Shiver, chivalrous, chivalrous, mm-hmm. chivalrous things for her, and her initial reaction to text her group friends in the group chat was, "This is so corny." He's opening the door, da da da, and then she sat down at the table. After this man pulled out her chair, sat down, pulled her napkin out for her to place the napkin over her lap, and then sat down himself. And then when he got up to use the restroom, she texted their friend. She's like, "It's a shame that I really responded with." exactly how I how we dream to be treated with my initial response was that is so corny da, 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 da. and it's, it's not a, our a fault. fault it's not our fault because it's like a girl was saying at a, on a previous podcast that bad men dress themselves up as good men in the beginning yes they do and so to us everything is either corny or a red flag oh this guy's being tuned it's not he's gonna, he's not real it's he's, sad it is sad because we have been conditioned conditioned and manipulated to believe that this is a false reality that is only used in movies yep only used for them to get what they want whether it be sex whether it be money whether it be what a a, a homosexual where they bounce home to home when they get out of relationships Mm -hmm. like that's what they call them like and a that's, hobo. A, a, I know a, a few hobo, hobos. A hobosexual. But that is not the case. Like, there are really good men out there yeah, who want to be good to their women and prioritize their women. So yeah. I don't want to focus on the negative. I want to focus on the positive of this mm-hmm. orange peel theory, which is if you're not getting that, it's out there and you need to just go and open your eyes and be willing to accept it. I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that, like, if if this is what's happening to you, instead of looking at it and like this is going to go wrong or this is corny, you need to go to therapy to, to, to learn how to let yourself be loved. Yes. And because we don't we don't. I, it's hard. It's it hard, hard to let yourself be loved. And the thing is, is that we need to stop self-sabotaging and we mm-hmm. need to stop believing that everything is just a lie. And we need to stop thinking that there's no good men out there because that's not the reality. It's just. And that's what you're attracting when you. That's what I was just going to say. What happens is, is that we get into these cycles where some may want the good looking men who dress nice with the money, who's buying bottles and da da the bills. Right. But yet they're stepping out on you. They're they're like giving you the breadcrumbs where they just entertain you for a little bit. They're not treating you like the queen that you are. Whereas you could get with a real hardworking man who is willing to dedicate his time, effort into the relationship, communicate with you. And it's like we just need to stop going for what we just see on social media. And looks. The, the, the looks will literally. <laughs> I think it's looks and money. It's, yeah. Looks and money. And it's sad that we That's have. a fact. It's sad that we've been raised in our generation to see money as the number king, one. Money, money as king when trying to find a relationship. And I think men do that now too, though. And that's yeah. where the Ooh. ladder goes for me. It gets for you. That gets <laughs> sticky. Right? So I think men also now go, it went from men wanting women to stay home and be with the kids to now men wanting women who are financially stable and who can contribute and who can bring equal bread to the table. Which I get because also women became gold diggers. Right. So now here we are at a double-sided sword, not knowing which way to go, and everybody just wants to be loved. Right. And not only that, but women became gold diggers. I'm sorry this is going to be controversial because of men, though. Of course they did. Because, because it's like, all right, if you're going to cheat on me and you're going to do this anyway, you're going to do that anyway, at least give, give me, me some, some money. money. Take me at out At least shopping. you better have the money. Take me out shopping. Buy me dinner. Take me and my friends out. Fly me on trips. Take me here. Take me there. I want this. And you know what's crazy is that you can get all of those things. And still have a good man. And still have a good man. You don't need. But also, it's not only about take, 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 take. You, you also have to be a good woman for the man to also want to provide for you and too because it's not And this is where the friction and the disconnect right, comes because right. women are taking and, and men and men are tired of giving and then they find a good woman and they don't want to give anymore because they've given it to the fucking bottle girls. <laughs> 
Not the bottle girl. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. All right, not the bottle girl specifically. But you get what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like <laughs> it's the girls that want the money, the money, the chapiadoras, they, the gold diggers. <laughs> no, that ass, and it's 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 true. Like I just feel like we do it to each other. Like some men let bad women dictate the rest of their life, and that's who they're gonna be. And also, some women do the same thing mm-hmm. because as soon as you find yourself a good man, you think he's corny. Yep. So. But then again, it's always just a balance. You can't just be this pushover. That's the it's problem. But because that's the problem. With that, 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 that's the that's the kind of like the, the 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 record that I see in good men. It's like they are these they're these little pushovers, and it's just you want to feel like you're with a man. Like I don't know. Man. I agree. It's no, so hard. There has to be it's balance. <laughs> so, Even for us, it's, it is. it's hard. What? You gotta be a good man, but you gotta be a man. Right. You gotta let me know when I'm being a little crazy sometimes. And oh, that's that's good. Listen, I, I do that. I, I was recently checked. Ooh. I was, I was, I was recently checked. How'd you <laughs> feel and how'd you handle it? I sat there and I was quiet for a second and I was like <laughs> I was like, yo. And then I finished eating my food and I was like No, because it's that is that it's, I'm sorry. It's it's the face you just made you were like when you're like you'd be like Well, <laughs> like fine all right like okay Whatever. i'm gonna listen now you got that you know what i'm saying like there's ways to, to get right to, to be in check too either course. you're not about to just sun me either no, but 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 yeah you want to be checked sometimes like tell, sometimes, tell put me in my place like damn right I mean, you guys, man i gotta listen shit you know i'm saying but if you're just this pushover like what a, you might as well wear a little apron like hey you go <laughs> like no, that's too much no, I bro agree. i, I can't do that i agree i can't do that either i can't there has to be that masculinity. but it's like as a man do you want a, a completely submissive woman lay okay now turn okay now wear green okay now like you don't want that you want a girl that kind of has a bite to her you would think well you would think i'm not a guy but if i was a guy i feel like that's what i would want like a I, little I, I just want razzle dazzle right like i want to be able to have fun have a good conversation like i want i want it all and it's not crazy for me to say that i want it all it's I true want it all. and you deserve it all too like there's been times like my, my boyfriend's super 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 duper duper nice to me but yo he's cussed me out like two or three times and I just respond and like you, you hurt you my feelings. I just want you to know that you hurt my feelings. <laughs> you hit him with them. Yeah, <laughs> like like no, nah, I fight back, but you know what I'm saying? Deep down inside I'd be like, damn. <laughs> crying, crying again. Like, yeah. Okay. You know, um, but it's 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 crazy. But yeah, I feel like it just has to be a balance and when you find yourself a good man, like, yo, lock you that gotta, up. You gotta lock it up because the dating pool is crazy. Say it again. The dating pool is crazy. It's diabolical. <laughs> like, it's like RIP put me in a coffin. Yo. Okay? Because, it's not even a joke. It's really for real. No, no, no. It's really, really bad. And it's it's just really crazy to see the difference on how so much has changed. Like, I remember dating when I was younger and then trying to date now. And I even seen something recently where, like... um. I think it was like a Tinder date had gone out and the girl ordered an appetizer that the guy didn't like. So when the bill came, he's like, okay, I'd like to go 50, 50. I was like, Oh my God. Now you see like, that's wild to me. That's if, not crazy. if I go on a first date and I have to go 50, 50 with a man. Because you ordered an appetizer that he didn't like. Yeah. No, How no. do you feel about nah, that? Nah, you, you're just corny. Like you can't afford to take me out. Like, one appetizer i can understand if we're ordering like prime rib lobster like doing the most but one measly That's appetizer crazy that, imagine what your future looks like and then he tried to blast her like she was out of pocket yeah for imagine saying- what your future looks like i also saw a guy that said that like you know how um it says like you gotta wait 90 days to give the guy yeah whatever and he's he basically like compared it to the fact that like if he doesn't have money, he can't take you out in the first place. And now that's messed up that like if it's it's not it's it's monetary. It's like a compensation, yada, yada, yada. But in my head, I'm like, OK, so if you don't it's we don't always require money for you to take us out on the first date. If you tell me, hey, I just want to spend the rest of these 90 days just talking to you on the phone and FaceTiming and getting to know each other. Or go I'm to the game. park. Go, you to don't the, go to the park. Go for a walk. like To get to know me. You don't got to take me out on a, on, a, on, a, right. on a date where you got to spend money on me. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the connection's there. To me, that would be amazing. If a guy tells me that, oh, like, you know what? The next 90 days, I would like to just get to know you. 
before even meeting in person or like i want to go to a park and just have a conversation and go back home that's a yes no guy hits you with that because no guy wants to get to know you they just want to do what they got to do and be out and be out get what they want and be out and we actually had one of our patreon people come in and tell us her exact story basically they're best friends yada 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 he gets what he wants and then automatically now he knows they're just meant to be friends you you could have known that before hitting it. You knew it. that before. Maybe you know, come on. You knew that before. Like, stop playing and with us. And the ladies, please stop falling for that. We, yeah, we got to <laughs> do better. Because you also know. Oh, we got to do better. If he's your best friend, you should know the kind of person he is. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, So back to the moral of the story is the orange peel theory is real. And if your partner is not willing to go above and beyond for you in small acts of service, that may not be the right partner for you. And Absolutely. they may have some growing up that they need to do on their end. I'm not saying that they're a bad person, but I'm saying that they may not be ready to be in the kind of committed relationship that you are, that you are ready for. And it's not wrong for you to have standards and boundaries to know that this is what I want and this is how I want to be treated. Mm-hmm. This is the level of communication I want. And if they can't do that, then you need to know when it's your time to buy out, bow out. Absolutely. So, yeah, guys, just... Be smart. That's all I got to say. Be smart and know how to distinguish good and bad yes. and fake and real. Yes. And yeah. if you don't know, come to us and we go and decipher what you. Absolutely. Hit us up on our Patreon. You already know. Bye. Bye.